Broadcasting live four days a week worldwide. From the sunny beaches of Southern California. This is ExtremeHealthRadio.com. This is Dr. Bradley Nelson, author of The Emotion Code, How to Release Your Trapped Emotions for Abundant Health, Love, and Happiness. You're listening to Justin and Kate on Extreme Health Radio. For more information about The Body Code, visit ExtremeHealthRadio.com forward slash body code. Tim would say, another day, another dollar fifty, Justin. <laughs> Remember he'd always say that? He said that to you all growing up too? He would yeah, he would come in from work and say, Another day, another dollar fifty. <laughs> no idea what that yeah, means. when we when we uh, went and visited him a few times in Australia. <laughs> That's right. Every time he'd come home from work he'd say that to us. We'd How laugh. You doing, Tim? Another day, another dollar fifty, Justin. <laughs> He's great. He's hilarious. I love Tim. Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim. So, another day in paradise here. We've got some uh, suns trying to peek out here in Southern California. It's about 9 a.m., and uh, it's day's looking good, isn't it? Amazing. The days keep rolling by, and the guests keep coming in. And it's We're stuff. blessed. Very blessed. We are. Today's going to be a great show. We have Mr. Chris Kaler on, and we're going to be talking about uh, calcium, diabetes, energetic medicine, all kinds of weird... What, what? Yeah, all kinds <laughs> of weird stuff. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll introduce him in just a second. We broadcast live four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. So you can join the live chat room, and then on our Friday show, you can call in and talk to us that way and uh, get your health questions answered. We all kind of pool together our knowledge and see if we can come up with some kind of answers for your health questions. So that's our Friday show. That'll be tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific. And if you'd like to uh, join the show, you can do that by emailing Justin at ExtremeHealthRadio.com Or you can send one over to me, Kate at ExtremeHealthRadio.com And we also have a voicemail tab. You can record a voicemail for our guests. That's right on our website as well. And if you guys would like to support our work, a lot of people have been doing this lately through Amazon and it's a really a great way to do that. Gosh, are we grateful. Yeah, we're so grateful. And if you have anything you want to buy on Amazon, it doesn't have to be health related. If you go through our link, ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash Amazon you'll be able to uh, just go to Amazon. You know, it's the same thing as Amazon, and we'll get a commission for that. Yep. Like we said on the other show, it'll look like Amazon. It'll be Amazon. Yeah, it'll be Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry that it doesn't look like you know our, our link. It just looks like regular Amazon. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't so. be concerned. Don't be concerned. And so that's a great way to keep the shows free for everybody else, so we really appreciate that. Let's see. Today we've got Mr. Chris Kaler. And he's always a very popular guest. A lot of people talk about his work. Very interesting guy. His website is chriskaler.net. That's C-H-R-I-S-K-E-H-L-E-R.net. We'll put a link in the chat room for those that are listening live. And he's a holistic energy practitioner. He uses pendulum dowsing, sacred geometry, such as pyramids, to find the area in the body where the health problems exist. And he uses sacred geometry to neutralize the stressors in the area does a lot of work with pyramids and he's certified in quantum touch and live blood cell analysis and radionics and he's also the owner of quantum point technologies the maker of the energy wristbands and the sleep band so uh, he's really into this energetic medicine and a lot of people that have listened to our show have seen him and work with him via skype and he's worked with kate quite a bit with some really great results so it's a it's an honor to have him back all the way from Canada. So thanks, Chris, for joining us today. Hey, kids. Good to be on again. Oh, so good. So good. So you are in Canada. How's the spring shaping up for you over there? Well, we're finally hitting summer. We had the coldest winter on record for the last 110 years, apparently. Really? Uh, Serious? Th- there, there are houses uh, in Winnipeg. There's about 500 houses that still have frozen water pipes. We, we had uh, an amazingly cold winter, and the frost went so deep that it affected water pipes. So it, it's going to be June in a couple of days, and there's still people with frozen water pipes. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. 
Yeah, this wow. is Winnipeg. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I've ever asked you this. Have you been there your whole life, or did you move there? Uh, I was uh, born in, in a, a small town just outside of Winnipeg, but I basically lived in Winnipeg all my life. I've, I've lived in a few other cities here and there for a couple of years, but I'm Winnipeg born and bred. Okay, okay. So you're used to the cold, so you've grown up with it. It's something that's pretty easily adaptable for you, right? Oh, heck yeah. We go <laughs> snowmobiling. Mine is 30 degrees Celsius at, oh. at 100 miles an hour on a snowmobile. What's the uh, wind chill factor of that? Like minus 10,000? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be on Pluto yeah. for that. <laughs> not, not a problem. You know, when, when you live in Winnipeg, if you don't like the cold, well, you better move to California. Yeah, there you go. My That's goodness. Fine. Are the summers really pretty? The, the summers are nice. We, we hit, you know, easily 80 degrees plus uh, during the summer. We, we have lots of sunshine. Wow. Uh, the only bad thing with the summer is mosquitoes. We get a lot of mosquitoes. Uh, and that's one of the wristbands I'm trying to develop right now is, is a wristband to repel mosquitoes. So it's, that's on the chopping block. Hey, did you hear about that new story that uh, we, we mentioned it on, on one of our shows recently, but it was going around the internet with Bill Gates. And he was <laughs> funding a Japanese research study group in Japan. And they were working on trying to, what was it, Kate? Vaccinations or something? Yeah. Inside the mosquitoes. Did you hear about that? To go inject people. Um, yeah, that, like with force yeah, vaccinations. That I haven't heard of, but you know, it wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, if you look at, at mosquitoes and, and, and um, sand flies, all these different bugs that bite you, they, they all do communicate a, a disease or illness. Uh, Lyme disease, for one. Uh, sand flies, uh, a lot of parasite problems. So, you know, it really wouldn't surprise me if, if they started. Uh, um, uh, Placing different viruses and different uh, vaccinations, different things w within pools of mosquitoes and letting them loose. So it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. So your yeah. wristbands are going to be <clears throat> definitely needed. So when you're working on these, is it the kind of thing that you're, is like a frequency going to be deterring them or how does that how's that yeah, going to work it's, it's everything when, it, when you use the the radionics and, and charge things with it like the wristbands they, they work they're good medium um you're, you're putting a frequency or an intent generally it's, it's with what i do it's more of an intent huh. so we're working with with zero point energy or god energy if you want to call it that to to hold an intent and and that intent uh, is the same thing I do when I use my pyramid, and I intend to remove a, a health issue from your body. So it's all strong intent used uh, along with the pyramids and the radionic devices. So the intent is really the the main the main thing there, right? The, the intent, intent is is the key. Now uh, you can intend a frequency and intend a thought, intend whatever you want. If your intent is strong enough. And, and you've got the right connections. It, it's going to it's going to happen. Just like using the law of attraction, you intend to to find the the, the best job for you. You intend to be financially abundant. It, it's all the intent. It's all how you set it in motion. It's interesting. I'm sitting here uh, today with a little zapper on and uh, from one of our guests, and uh, and inside of it, it's got orgone energy. They said, and you just mentioned that. What is uh, orgone energy? Orgone energy. Um, is basically an, an, an earth energy, okay? Organite is all uh, um, organic compounds. That's where organ comes from, organic. So I, I've got a, an organic uh, organ temple set up in my office from a, a client who, who builds them. And it's all organic materials within it that create an energy. Interesting. And what is your temple? It, that's in your office or in your home? This is in my office. I've got everything in my office. My office... I'm sure... Is 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 the fourth dimension, which is the dimension of heaven. We're, we're right now we're sitting <laughs> with, within the, the the kingdom of heaven. That, that's what this energy is. Um, I forget what the name of the temple is. It, it's it's just to bring in natural uh, uh, light, uh, natural uh, energies that, that are needed to do my work. So cool. And so, can people feel that when they come and see you? Um, there's so much energy in this office that people don't know what they're feeling. When I take the temple apart, there's, there's six different components to it, and I get people to hold on to two of the components on their lap. Uh, they feel an immediate amount of joy going through their body. When I got this thing in the mail and opened it up, I was giddy like a schoolboy. Let me tell you, it was such a nice feeling that I got from this temple. It was, it was incredible. What what is it? Is it something? Is it a big? Is it one piece or what is the the temple? There, there's six different pieces and they're all kind of cone pyramid shaped, and they're about you know four inches tall and about six inches around, and they just contain different components of of organ, 
to create a specific energy. Isn't that interesting? Well, are you selling uh, your pyramid? Because I see you working with that thing all the time. And uh, yes, um, are you selling those still on your website? Oh yeah, I've got the, the triple pyramids with sun rings within them on my website. Uh, the sun rings and neutralization rings fly off the shelves. These things are getting very, very popular. More and more people are ordering them and, of course, booking appointments alongside to learn how to use them. Um, I've got the Shungite, which is doing very well. So the pyramids and, and the rings are, are doing exceptionally well. I'm quite impressed and surprised about the, the web sales. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, because I'm had, looking. Oh, yeah, ahead. no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. We had a que- we had a comment or question in the uh, chat room saying, "Does does Chris live in a pyramid?" That's a funny <laughs> question though, because like in your house, that's true. Do you do you have giant pyramids like over your bed or anything? Do you put them around your home? Yes, um, I, I do hang a pyramid from my from my, the roof in my uh, uh, bedroom. You do. I, so I kind of sleep under it, and it. Uh, it, it just keeps up your energy. It helps you to sleep. It does all kinds of cool things. You can intend it. You write something on a piece of paper. Let's say you, you want to dream about something specific or you want to enhance your Im- immune system or anything at all while you're sleeping. You just put an intent within that pyramid, write it on a piece of paper, and it'll do it. Wow. So I, I just leave mine wide open to do whatever the universe feels I need for that night. Uh, quite often I, I, I go astral traveling and I'm doing uh, healing on different dimensions and different levels. And I just use it as, as a ground or a protection while I'm out there doing my work to, to bring me back safe. It's interesting. With the pyramids I've seen uh, you, you using, uh, the triple pyramid with the sun ring, it looks like you have some crystals uh, like some circular crystals on the pyramid that you use on people. Is that right? Yeah, the, the pyramid I have, is, it's, it's pretty much unique to, to the work that I do. Um, I call it the Silver Light Pyramid. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, on the website, there's a triple pyramid. My pyramid I use is, is has got five different pyramids stacked on top of each other. And then it's loaded up and epoxied in with uh, different quartz spheres and, and uh, different uh, sets of magnets. It's got a Shungite cap on it, Shungite pyramid cap. So what this does is it acts as a, as a bigger, better antenna and amplifier for the uh, quantum energy that I use to do healing. Here's a question. <clears throat> In your opinion, what's more powerful, magnets or quartz? Uh... It all depends on, on what you're using them for. Like magnets have a, a lot of good properties. If you've got inflammation within your body and you put some small magnets over the inflammation, it'll help to pull it out. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to say quartz has probably got a, a lot more uh, uh, properties for, for healing and uh, and using intent. Okay, yeah, because this, this quartz crystal, uh, you know, we get emails and things and read articles about it. It just seems pretty impressive what all they can be used for, doesn't it? Well, quartz is is uh, an all around, all encompassing healing uh, crystal. Lots of different crystals, and there's many of them that have specific purposes. Hmm. Uh, stibnite will remove entities. Amethyst will do different things. They all got their purpose. Quartz is is just an all encompassing, all around healing type of crystal. Yeah, because Justin, those are infused in the biomat, right? Uh, in the biomat, there's a quartz? A- amethyst and tourmaline. And amethyst. tourmaline. That's right. Tourmaline. What does tourmaline do? Tourmaline, not exactly sure. I'm not up on my crystals because I only use certain ones. I think tourmaline is 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 good for uh, for negative energies. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, that, I could be I could be wrong on that one. Yeah, we have this biomat thing. And, that thing uh, knocks me out. Yeah, it's got amethyst in there too, which is interesting. Hmm. Yeah. What's the main stuff you've been seeing lately with people? Is there? Uh, I, I got to tell you, um, you know, the more people I see, the more consistency I see in specific types of health problems. Now, of course, I always work on the spiritual end of things with with entities and uh, alien attachments and different types of programming that can be involved with a health problem. But when you look at, at the physical of a health problem, whether it's a cardiovascular problem, migraines, muscle spasms, uh, different things like that, uh, calcium is, is, is one of the biggest ones that's coming up a lot. What's, um, what's it doing to people? Is it causing all kinds of illnesses? What's, oh, what's, what, it, what it does is, 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 is a, a two-part problem to this. Number one is too much calcium within your system. So if if you're a person who drinks a, a lot of milk every day, well you're going to be having you're going to have an abundance of calcium in your body. 
Okay, so if your body can't absorb it all, your body is smart, it's going to hold on to it. It's going to get stored in your muscles. It's going to get stored in your cardiovascular system. It's going to go into your brain, and then that creates a problem. And your muscles is going to cause a spasm or a cramp. And your cardiovascular system is going to build up and then create a, a, a restriction of blood supply. It gets in your brain, and there's migraines. So, so that's number one is having too much calcium in your diet. And a lot of people, you, you know, especially women, I'm over 50, I have to have calcium or I'm going to get osteoporosis. Mm-hmm. Come on, give me a break. It's, it's, it's more of an absorption problem. Mm-hmm. So what, what I use a lot of is diatomaceous earth. And if you heard me talk about this before, diatomaceous earth, one of the key properties with it is it is silica dioxide which is a very big component to absorb calcium into your body. So if you have any kind of bone issues, instead of taking calcium, take something that's going to absorb the calcium into your body. Uh, another good thing with diatomaceous earth is it's going to kill off parasites in your body. It's going to add a lot of nutrients. There's, there's phosphorus, there's magnesium, there's uh, manganese, there's all these really good components at a, at a natural organic level to absorb all the nutrients your body needs. It's so, also a good detoxifier. It's going to the, the molecule. If you can see it under a, a, a microscope, it looks like a, a cylinder with holes in it. And and as it goes through your body, it's going to gather up uh, toxins. It's going to gather up gunk and junk that's in your body and eliminate it. Now the um, molecule of of diatomaceous earth is almost the hardness of a diamond. So it's, it's going to cut things up. It's going to cut up parasites. It's going to scour your colon, scour your veins and arteries and, and remove junk out of it. It's just a really good organic way, natural way to, to cleanse your body, to do something good. And this stuff is so incredibly inexpensive, it's not even funny. Really? And so how much would one, one want to take, do you think? If, if you did a tablespoon a day, you mix it in water, the water is going to look like, like clay, uh-huh. but there's no taste to it. And if you closed your eyes and, and, and drank it, you probably wouldn't even realize you're drinking it. That's, that's the beauty about this stuff is there's no taste, no aftertaste, and no bad reactions from it. It's funny because with diatomaceous earth, it's, I've always heard that that has a lot to do mainly for uh, detoxification and killing parasites. But right. interesting you said how it helps to absorb the calcium you are eating. That's, I've never heard that before. It's pretty interesting. Correct. Yeah, we're, we're made up of, of some specific components. Okay, uh, carbon is, is the main one and also silica dioxide. Now, if you look at a quartz crystal, what's a quartz crystal? Silica. Hmm. Okay, it's glass. And that, that's part of our makeup. So that's why it works so well with healing. Okay, hmm. now if you have the right components. To, for your body to function, you're going to function at a higher level. We had a question in the chat too saying, why when I have animal protein do I feel heavy and bloated like with raw dairy or grass-fed meats? Mm. Well, with, with, uh, when, you're, when you're eating raw food, you're going to feel a lot lighter. With, with um, processed foods, it's all the antibiotics, the, the hormones and all the junk that, that is within the animal that's making you feel heavy. A lot of people go vegan because you know when they eat meats, they feel heavy. They they feel lethargic, mm-hmm. and, and that's one of the main reasons is is um, all of the junk that that is put within the feed, and then the animals are injected. I saw a study once. Um, uh, there's a, a university took two calves. They fed one raw organic milk, and they fed the other one pasteurized milk. I think they did it for six, eight months, something like that. Then they they dissected the cows, the calves. And they found the one that, that was on pasteurized milk, it looked rotten. Mm. It was, there was green, there was black, but the one that was on raw milk, it, it looked very pink, very healthy looking. So you could see right there proof positive that uh, you know, the processing within all our food is, is really what, what the problem is. And the processing, basically what it does is it strips away all the enzymes, it strips away all the nutrients, so all you're, you're getting is, is just filler. Yeah, you're just getting basically macronutrients, right? So maybe some yeah. carbohydrates or protein or something, but even that may not even be absorbable. That's, that's right. Things are changed at, at an organic level, at a molecular level, and they just don't absorb properly in your body, and it's stuff that your body can't use anyways because it's already digested and, and already turning to, to, to rot. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Do you know anything, uh, As I don't know, in America here, but in Canada, there's a question in the chat room saying, do you know if even grass-fed meats are given antibiotics? 
Well, it, it all depends on where you're getting them from. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, the person who's raising it. Um, if, if there's fertilizer within the grass, well, then uh, anything bad within the grass, the, the cow's going to ingest. But yeah. there, there's a, a butcher not far from where I live, and everything in that place is, is 100% organic, no hormones, no antibiotics. And let me tell you, you can sure taste a difference, especially in the chicken. Mm-hmm. It, it, it tastes so incredibly different. Hmm. Wow. That you can you just know that it's it's 100 percent uh, organic. Wow! Yeah, it's a wild thing because if you have uh, even grass fed uh, beef or something like that, if you're even if you're watering the grass with municipal uh, tap water that's filled with pharmaceutical residues or homeopathic residues of chemotherapy or even you know fluoride and calcium and things like that that are in municipal water, you water the grass with that, and then the grass fed cow, organic grass fed cow eats that. You're still getting some. Uh, You're getting some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you really got to, I don't know what you have to do. What do you have to do these days to <laughs> eat real food? <laughs> you, you know what? You have to be 100% responsible. And, and you know, if, you, if you can grow your own food, grow your own food. Uh, you know, even if you're using rainwater, well, you know, that rainwater is <laughs> going to have stuff in it. Yeah. Exactly. Well, how, how do you do it? You just do the best you can, really. Yeah. yeah now, do of course. Now, now, of course, there's other things that you can do to help purify the food you're eating. And if you take the, the the pyramids, the rings, the sun ring, the neutralization ring, you can change uh, what's happening within your food. So, for instance, uh, what what I do with my pyramid is if I got some food in front of me, I will just hold the pyramid over the food and and say the words transmute all inorganic components to organic. So now the DNA is going to change its spin; it's going to become organic, and my body's going to absorb it better. Okay, it's not going to be a hundred percent right away, but it's something you can do daily uh, with with your food to to help your body to absorb it better. You can do the same with with uh, the sun ring. Uh, place your food on top of it. it; it will change the energy. It will restructure the energy a little bit so that it's not so bad for you. So things can be done on on that level, but as far as growing things, yeah, you're always going to have some contamination. Yeah, I hear you. Let's take a little break here. We're, we're with Chris Kaler from chriskaler.net. Don't go to .com because the .com is a different, <laughs> different website, but it's chriskaler.net. We'll put a link in the chat room. And when we come back, I want to just ask you a little bit about the differences between the sun ring and the mm-hmm. neutralization ring so our listeners can get a little more And we have a few more questions in the chat room. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. Excellent. All right. We're with Chris Kaler. This is episode 257. You got it. Is that right? 257. And we broadcast live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. And we'll be right back right after this break. I have been a huge fan of rebounding for many, many years. And if you want to get in great cardiovascular shape, tone your legs, back and butt and stomach, As well as cleanse your lymphatic system from toxins and chemicals, you just have to start rebounding. It's imperative. And not only will it create endorphins that quickly become addictive to you, but it's very low impact as well. It helps to prevent sicknesses and diseases as well as increase bone density and it flushes toxins from your lymphatic system. It's amazing. And not only that, but it's a ton of fun also. I do it every single day for about 15 minutes. And we found the best rebounder on the market today in the world, bar none. It's called the Bellicon Rebounder. It's the Rolls Royce of rebounders, in my opinion. And let's listen to some of what our guests have had to say about rebounding. Robert von Sarbacher is a health researcher and creator of the Mini B Protocol. And Robert, what's your favorite exercise? Uh, in general, uh, okay, probably one of the number one anti-aging exercises on the planet is is uh, rebounding. So 15 minutes a day is good for, for that. You can find people who uh, have had thermography scans on cancers, uh, giant tumors, and when they're doing a um, rebounder, it would start spewing out and shrinking right in front of your eyes, the tumor would, as they're on the rebounder. So it's really good for that sort of thing. It's also very good for exercising internal organs. It's the only internal organ exerciser that I know of known to man. Dr. Lindsay Duncan is the CEO and founder of Genesis Today. And what's the best way that you think of to stimulate the lymphatic system of the body? Rebounding is incredible because it's good for the lymphatic system and there's more lymph fluid in the body than there is blood. And the quickest way and the most effective way to get the lymphatic system flowing is through rebounding itself. 
Yeah, because the lymphatic system can't really detox itself, can it? I think you know. No, the heart, we have the heart, thank you, for pumping blood. And we don't have a heart to pump lymphatic fluid. The only thing that really can pump lymphatic fluid is cardiovascular exercise utilizing the thighs, the thigh muscles. And that's why rebounding and getting a burn in that thigh muscle is so important for the flow and the stimulation of the lymphatic fluid. Wow, and they even put cancer patients on rebounding, don't they? Nutritionists do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but not a conventional doctor. But yeah, I've been learning about rebounding lately. It's quite an amazing thing. Yeah, rebounding's amazing. Health researcher and author of Cancer Step Outside the Box, Ty Bollinger. What do you do in your life to prevent cancer? What do you do to treat cancer? What do you do to prevent it? Rebounding is something that I try to do on a daily basis, mm -hmm. uh, a little mini trampoline for those people that aren't familiar with the term rebounding, but it's basically just jumping up and down on that little mini tramp. Mm -hmm. What that does is it stimulates the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is one of our primary detoxification systems in our body, and most folks don't stimulate their lymph flow, and so the toxicity in their body builds up because their lymph is not stimulated, and the up-down motion on a rebounder stimulates the lymph flow better than just about any other exercise. So mm -hmm. I do that almost almost on a day, probably five days a week, I would say I average doing that. And finally, author and speaker and creator of the Longevity Now program, David Wolf. Do you think the Bellicon is the best rebounder on the market today? Absolutely. I, I was just with the crew in Europe that does the Bellicon rebounder, which is an incredible rebounder. My God, what a machine. Mm -hmm. And it's, it doesn't use metal springs. It uses like flexi ropes. So it's very soft and fun and it's just great to play with. Well, there you have it. The up and down G-force actually stimulates every single cell in your body. It's incredible. And as someone who works out in the gym a lot and does Qigong, I think that the best physical aerobic exercise, in my opinion, is rebounding. It's just absolutely incredible for the human body. And the Bellicon is silent and it comes with a warranty and you can get them in several different sizes and colors and some of them have bars that you can hold on to in case you're worried about balance. It's a well worth it investment in your health and in your future. So check them out in our store if you'd like or you can check out the videos on ExtremeHealthRadio.com forward slash Bellicon. Again, that's ExtremeHealthRadio.com forward slash Bellicon. That's B as in boy, E-L-L-I-C-O-N. Listener supported. Extreme Health Radio. Opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. worldwide. Don't forget to join our thriving community for health tips, inspiration, and show updates at extremehealthradio.com slash Facebook. Great time here with Mr. Chris Kaler from ChrisKaler.net. Always a good time Always. with him. Our resident energetic healer and energy medicine practitioner, right? Yep. Amen. Great time. This is episode <laughs> 257, and we broadcast live four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we've got a great show coming up uh, tomorrow. we got our Free For All Friday show, and then next week we have Sean Stevenson. He will be talking about improving our sleep, and then we've got Mr. Adam Bergstrom from Solar Nutrition, very interesting guy, and Dr. Norman Rob Billiard from the Digestive Health Institute. So he'll be talking about digestion and all that good stuff. And nice. Yeah, it'll be fun. And uh, as the lady said, don't forget to follow us on Facebook if you want to keep up to date with all of our shows, our past show archives, inspiration, daily updates, all that kind of good stuff happens on Facebook. So we'd love to have you join the community. And today we're with Mr. Chris Kaler. And we're going to talk about some of the differences between the energy rings, the sun ring, and the, uh, the neutralization ring. But Chris, I wanted to ask you a little bit about energetic healing and energy medicine, because we always refer to you in that way, an energetic healer and that kind of thing. And when people work with you on that level, what happens? What do they come to see you for and, and what happens? 
Yeah, um, I, I always like to, to repeat this because people still have a bit of an issue trying to get their head around exactly what, what's going on here. This is something that does work. There's lots of people who do different types of energy healing modalities such as Reiki, Quantum Touch, uh, EFT, lots of different things. They, they all work, okay? I'm, I'm not saying that I'm the only game on, in, in, a, in a round. Um, the way that this works, uh, my system, it's a two-part system where I use a pendulum and I got a series of charts I've developed. Now, the important thing about, of course, uh, curing a health problem, you have to know what it is. Here, here's a prime example. Somebody came into my office yesterday and their nails, their, their toenails, their fingernails, lots of gunk, hard gunk underneath them. So the guy comes in and says, well, I've got all this fungus under my nails and I can't get rid of it. Ten years and I can't get rid of it. Hmm. I says, let's see if it's really fungus. He says, well, what do you mean? And look at it all. It's, all. it's all yellow. It's all fungus. I says, it might be something else. So you have to keep an open mind that uh, because you have a diagnosis from a doctor, it says it's one thing. It could be another. It turned out this guy was full of calcium. It, oh. This was a calcium problem. Calcium was building up under his nail beds. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you have to be open-minded. So, so when you do an appointment with me, you, if you tell me I've got diabetes, you may not have diabetes. It could be something else that is causing a, sh- a sugar overload within your system. Oh, okay. So you have to keep open-minded like that. And, and the pendulum that I use and, and specifically the guides that I work with are very, very acute and they can get in and, and really find these problems. Uh, the second of all, now getting rid of the problem. Uh, everybody's, you know, you're trying to get your head around this. How does he use a pyramid and, and the problem goes away? Okay, that that is something that I still try to get my head around sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, we're understanding more and more exactly what, what is happening. And it's all about, like I said before, the intent. I intend to remove calcium from this person's cardiovascular system. And by using the pyramid and, you know, different tools that I have, it greatly magnifies the intent. It, it harnesses the energy. It, it amplifies it. And it works as an antenna to bring in. Uh, here, let, let's explain, explain it this way. When you say a prayer and your prayer gets answered, basically the same thing. But we're just doing it a little differently. Right, okay. right, using some okay. tools like uh, the the pyramid and things like that. Right, right. So, so we're yeah. doing it a little differently. We're 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 calling on God to come in and do some healing. We're calling on Jesus to come in and do some healing. We're calling on the universe to come in and do whatever needs to be done at 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 the cellular molecular level and at the quantum level. It, it comes in and, and makes these adjustments, and immediately people notice a small difference. If we if we hit the problem right on the head the first time around. Uh, pain will start to go away. Right away, somebody will say, hey, you know what? All of a sudden, that pain lifted a little bit. Hmm. All of a sudden, something feels a little different. And that happens quite often. Sometimes it does take a few sessions to get in and find the problem, but, but that's, that's what happens. Is, is sometimes it is a very hard thing to find if it's very chronic. So, so the whole concept of energy healing does have validity. It, it does work, and I, and I do this 10 hours a day, five days a week with people all over the world. You know, there's proof in the pudding that it does work. I got repeat clients. So, so if you're trying to get your head around the whole concept of energy healing and getting away from pharmaceuticals and, and you know, things that aren't working for you, it's definitely worth looking into uh, uh, giving it a try, okay, and, and testing the water with it. My appointments are, are only $55 a session. I like to keep them really low. A lot of people tell me, well, you can't be a very good session if it's only 55 bucks. You get what you pay for, right? Well, you know, when you go to the store, that's, that's sometimes the case. But with me, I like to keep it at a certain level so that everybody can appreciate this. Everybody can, can try it. It's not very expensive, and you can do multiple treatments if need be. So, so that's probably the best way that I can describe how things happen. We're, we're working with, with higher energies here that have the answers. They're giving me the answers, and I'm using the tools to enhance the energy to, to neutralize all of the stressors out of your body. It's interesting. When someone has a session with you, uh, does the energy stop or cease uh, when you're done working with them, or can it resonate for a while longer? Um, what happens is with within 24 to 48 hours, there's a continuation. Okay, if it all happened at once, kabang, 
your body would probably go into somewhat of a shock. We call it a healing crisis Mm -hmm. where all of a sudden you're really dead tired and you can't get out of bed for a day or so. Things have to be done gently. Things have to be done slowly and and gradually. Um, That's that's why sometimes it takes three, four, five treatments because if you did it all at once, it would be very, very uh, uh, hard on, on the client. Yeah, so gen- generally 24 to 48 hours and all the energy transfers through it all, everything happens. Sometimes people's symptoms get a little worse before they get better. And they call me up and say, what'd you do to me? You made it worse. <laughs> and, and my reaction to that is any change is a good change. If something changes, something is different, that means something changed. And that's what we're looking for is, is a change. So something is happening on the atomic level or the um, uh, biological molecular level uh, deep deep within the cells uh, that you're doing. And so it might take a little bit of time for that to sort of percolate out into the physical manifestation of, the, of our world physically, right? Exactly. Things have to, you know, if, if something is going left spin, all of a sudden it has to stop and go right spin. So consider a, a locomotive train going forward at 50 miles an hour. In order to go backwards, it has to slow down and stop and then slowly start up again. So there, there is things that have to come to a halt. Okay, so you neutralize the, the frequency or you neutralize the stressor in the body. Now it stops. Now the body has to regenerate and start to heal. When you've got a cold or a flu, you, you have the symptoms and then the cold and flu goes away on its own and your body has to rebuild a little bit. So it's not immediate you feel great after the flu is gone. It, it has, there's a process involved. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. There's a guest in the chat room that says they had a Reiki session and nothing happened. So they don't know if they would be a good candidate for energy medicine. Um, what, what are Every, your thoughts? Everybody is a good candidate for energy medicine. If you're open-minded enough to try Reiki or, or, or to pursue it, you are a good candidate. When there's energy healing involved, the practitioner is is the key. Okay, The modality is, is, a, is a modality, and, and they all work. It's the practitioner who... Um, who you want to watch for, okay? There are good practitioners, bad practitioners. There's good mechanics and bad mechanics. So I always tell people if if you're going to research an energy modality, do your research on the person. Find out their success rate, how long they've been doing it, how busy are they. Ask questions to them and, and, and see if... Uh, have they ever dealt with your type of problem before? Um, see, be- because my work gets so in depth and actually finds the issue, um, you can wrap your head around a little, a little more and, and maybe uh, visualize what's going on when the energy session is happening. Uh, with Reiki and quantum touch, you know you're you're doing uh, work with with uh, quantum energy, but you're just running quantum energy into the body with with almost no intent. For in some places, I don't mean to disrespect anybody who does Reiki or quantum touch. This this is my view on it. So so you don't know what's happening. You, you sometimes feel tingling or, or heat or something going through your body, mm-hmm. but you don't know for sure what's happening. And if it's in a result, you're not quite too sure. I'm able to, to describe and, and, and uh, tell you what you might experience a- after we're done a session. Hmm. So, so you really have to research the practitioner, not so much the modality. The practitioner is very important. Interesting. Is there anything that people can do to thwart or mitigate the potential results they could have with you, like uh, like if they don't have an open mind, or if they uh, if some things are blocked or closed uh, closed in their life, is there is there some way they can sabotage uh, potential results? Hmm. Um, generally, not. Even even the skeptics who come in, they, they feel something, something happens, and, and they uh, come to realization. Uh, what can happen is if. I've got a few clients who, who will come to me, then the next day they go to somebody else, next day they go to somebody else, somebody else. Mm-hmm. So now their body and energy is getting confused. They don't know what, what to use, how, how, how to use it to heal their, their, themselves. So that is a very big problem. If you're somebody who, who goes to all these different people looking for the answer, stick with one person. Try them for a few months. If you get no results out of that, then move to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that is probably the, the, the biggest thing um, that, that I've encountered. Uh, and then there's people who will, well, they, you can't sabotage yourself by, by you know, doing drugs or, or poor lifestyle after mm-hmm. doing a session that can bring in other types of, of uh, negative energies and, and different problems itself. It's funny because uh, if you think about the kind of work you do, I mean, it's a lot of it mostly is, is non-physical in terms of the actual work and maybe some of the symptoms being 
uh, change, that's a physical feeling people might feel. But it's funny because when you change your diet, for example, for me, I, I did raw food for a long time. I did that for seven years. And then I started introducing animal products. And I really didn't feel that much different. I really didn't feel like it was that much of a change in my body. I didn't feel you know, really that much difference. But I knew on a molecular level, on a biological level, on an atomic level, uh, you know, it's different if you eat animal products versus raw vegan. Uh, you know, things are happening differently. And so just because you don't, me- might not necessarily feel something doesn't mean nothing's happening, right? That, that, that's, that's right. Uh, some people do feel the energy when, when I do some work. Uh, some people feel it very strongly. Some people don't feel it at all. And ultimately, it is doing its job. Just everybody is different on how they feel things. So one person who's very sensitive to, to certain foods, if, if they went raw food and then went back to meat products, they would have a reaction. They would notice it. If, if you're not very sensitive, well, you're not going to notice any difference. Yeah, it was interesting. Kate and I were watching, uh, we're sitting in the sauna. We do this a lot. We'll sit in the sauna and we'll watch these different documentaries. And there was a guy, I forget, Kate, you might remember his name, mm-hmm. but he was, do, he was showing a video. He was doing a presentation on stage and he was showing a video of someone who uh, had some kind of bowel cancer or something like that. Oh, and yeah. it was in China or, uh, or uh, Japan or something. And there was about four or five practitioners and they were all saying this mantra and they were saying this prayer Uh, And they were all doing this in unison to this woman with their hands on her. And they had some sort of CT scan going at the same time. So you could see and measure the diameter of the tumor that was in her stomach. And as they kept doing this prayer and saying this mantra over the course of about, what was about two minutes? It was like three minutes. Two or three minutes. You can see on the CT scanner, the tumor starts shrinking. It's really I saw, I saw the same video. It was, it was really incredible. It, it, it certainly gave some credibility to, to the whole energy thing. There it is in front of your eyes. The thing is yeah. going away for crying out loud. And yeah. I've done that for people also where, where somebody's in an emergency room and, and their, their windpipe is being cut off by, by a cyst or a tumor that is within there. And I've done my work over the phone and, and all of a sudden they can feel an ease of breathing and, and they can actually see the, the lump starting to, to go away a little bit. So the, that in itself shows credibility. There is things that happen and it happens that quick. Yeah, yeah, it's really fascinating. I wonder what it was. Maybe, maybe those people were in tune or maybe the person who had the cancer was uh, you know, somehow able to receive it or some, something was all coming together at the same time for this person to have their tumors shrink. Hmm. Ultimately, um, like with, with my work, uh, if you identify it, you know what it is. Is it a cyst or a tumor? Okay, you, you, that it, it, you have to get that specific sometimes. I work within universal law, which says if you identify something and tell it to leave, it has to leave. And that works also with, with spirits, different types of attachments. If it's just an earthbound spirit, if it's a poltergeist, if it's demonic, if it's dark, you identify it what it is and it has to leave. So, so uh, identification is key, and that way it also doesn't come back. Because quite often when you do energy work, the problem goes away, but then it comes back. Yeah, very, very interesting. We're going to take a little break here, and when we come back from the break, it'll be interesting to get some of your thoughts on diabetes. We talked a little mm-hmm. bit about calcium, but diabetes is also something that uh, affect, you know, people are really, really affected by. So we're going to talk about that after the break with Chris Kaler. His website, again, is chriskaler.net. C H R I S K E H L E R dot net. And this is episode 257. And we'll be right back right after this break. I have to say, I have been absolutely loving this product by Tristan Truscott and Peter Ragnar called Good Morning, Good Evening, Qigong. If you want to listen to the interview we did with Tristan, you can go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash 127. And Qigong is a great way to de stress the body. And as you know, There's a huge component to disease caused by stress, and stress is a huge factor in how we live our lives and the amount of energy we have and the amount of vitality we have. And so, Dr. Shade, what do you think about Qigong? People come to me, and they're really sick, and they got this blown-out neurological system and all this toxicity, and I tell them, you need to do Qigong Tai Chi. You need to do these things that settle down and restore your neurology because it puts together all the parts. It puts you back into that state where you can start to detoxify. Mm. And so I highly, highly recommend all that. And what about you, Kit Campbell? What do you think about Qigong? Do you like it as well? Qigong is 
amazing. And the reason that I believe it to be amazing is everything here is energy. That is a scientific fact, if there ever is one. So mm. when you're practicing Qigong, you're actually drawing energy into your body. Your intention, whatever your intention is behind any action, will determine the level of energy, type of energy that you absorb into your body. So your intention behind <laughs> your is very important, just like thought. So when you're practicing Qigong, you're actually bringing energy in and you're bringing out the stuff that might be a bit stale. With Tai Chi, it's totally different. The energy runs underneath the skin because it's a, it's more of a, a martial, this is the Chinese understanding, by the way. It's more of a martial art. So Qigong is very, very good for bringing that energy into the body and just fantastic. If you're interested in picking up this Qigong course by Tristan Truska, and Peter Ragnar, go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash Qigong, that's Q-I-G-O-N-G, and you can learn more about it. There's a great video on that page, and you can learn more about it on that page, and I highly, highly recommend this product. I love it myself, so go ahead and check that out, extremehealthradio.com forward slash Qigong. minds and transforming lives worldwide join our community today sign up to our email list and instantly get our free gift to you along with loads of inspirational content and cutting edge tips to help change your life at extremehealthradio.com slash subscribe I just want to let you guys know if you have any questions about that Qigong course, uh, you can always listen to the episode that we did uh, with Tristan Truscott on episode 127. We also did one with Peter Ragnar too, um, and Tristan. I forget which episode that was, but I believe they're both available in our store, so you can check those out if you're interested in learning more about the Qigong course, as well as the the rebounder too. We love us some Qigong and some rebounder. Rebounder's pretty amazing. Too bad you can't do the rebounding or I'm sorry, the Qigong while you're on the rebound. <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> no, with a pyramid above it. <laughs> right. So if you guys have any questions about the Bellicon, uh, please just let me know. It's just, It'll be one of the best investments uh, in your health. And we broadcast four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. And today we're with Chris Kaler, episode 257. And I wanted to talk a little bit about diabetes, but we had a listener question really quick I think we should get to about hypnosis. Is that correct? Kate? Oh, yeah. Chris, right before the break, somebody said, what are Chris's thoughts on using hypnotherapy? Uh, hypnotherapy. <laughs> uh, here again, it, it all revolves around the practitioner. If the practitioner using the hypnotherapy has got some dark energy within them, that dark energy is going to transfer through. There are quite a few people that, that do come in and, and do appointments, and I end up clearing out any hypnotism that, that is uh, with, within their body. And I'll ask them, have you ever been hypnotized? They go, yeah, yeah. I went to the show, and somebody is like, oh, dude, this guy now has you as a puppet. And we have to clear that out because it is having an influence uh, within your body. Hmm. So uh, just like any modality, I'm not going to diss hypnotism because it, it – does have validity, but you have to be sure that the practitioner is, is knows what they're doing, and if something goes wrong, number one, can they reverse it or shut it off, or can they change it back to, to what it was? There's a practitioner in Winnipeg who people go see this person, and when they leave, they feel worse th than, than they did, and it doesn't get any better. They end up coming to me saying, this person did something to me, and I, I got to clear out what this person did because this person doesn't know how to reverse it. Okay, so again, hmm. you got to know the practitioner. Interesting, okay. interesting. So with uh, diabetes, you've been doing a lot of work uh, with diabetes lately and working with people with blood sugar issues. Is that correct? Yeah, um, you know, ultimately anybody can really uh, alter their their diet and, and see a difference in their in their uh, glucose uh, uh, amounts. Okay, just cut the carbs, uh, knock off the soda pop, and, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. and then you should notice a difference, of course. But my where I'm going with it is people who eat really healthy have a good lifestyle, but their sugars are still high. 
you know that that to me that's that's a bigger bigger broader aspect of of where we need to go with it. So uh, the research I've done, uh, number one, calcium does come up quite a bit, mm-hmm. but it's not so much a problem in the pancreas, but it's a bigger problem in the insulin receptors. Mm-hmm. We all have receptors in our body to, to to take in all these different hormones. So if that receptor is is plugged up with calcium, plugged up with sodium, or plugged up with something. The insulin isn't going to do its job. So, so you know, quite often I've been doing work on the pancreas to clear it out and, and to purify the insulin, and, and things don't change much. So you got to start thinking outside the box a bit more. And my guides did tell me, hey, wait a minute, I suggest that we look within the receptors and see what's going on. Uh, now, if you, if you look at uh, people with diabetes and diabetic neuropathy, so you've got a, a loss of sensation or numbness within your fingers and toes. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the correlation with that? The correlation is calcium. Calcium is plugging up the veins and arteries, and it's restricting the blood flow to these areas and causing that sensation. Quite often, people with, with uh, a calcium problem, you're also going to have kidney stones. You may also have gallstones. You may also have migraines. Mm-hmm. So if you've got a whole bunch of, of symptoms um, other than just diabetes, then you know that it could be one underlying cause that is, that's affecting your entire body that way. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I've heard of calcium. There's uh, talk about how calcium shrinks our internal organs and does so much to to really affect our health. And people think that oh, it's so great because you know I need it for strong bones. But uh, in actuality, it's just I think that was just a bill of goods sold to people to get them to drink more milk, right? Well, you know, one one thing or another, right? What, what's what's the the uh, agenda behind you know, people, you know per, per, uh, doctors telling you to take calcium? Yeah. Uh, of course, right away you think, well, well, the bones are deteriorating. You need calcium to build them up. But like I said before, it's it's more the component to absorb. Just like iron, people who who are anemic, and they have low iron in their red blood cells. So the doctor gives you more iron, but you still don't absorb it because you don't have the right amount of copper within your body. Mm -hmm. And I do see that within people who are on a vegan diet. They're not getting enough copper, so they end up going on an iron supplement, and then they get too much iron, and then 10, 15 years down the road, then they develop other problems within the nervous system or the muscles or the brain, right? Mm -hmm. So again, it's all about absorption of of, Mm -hmm. of, uh, minerals and supplements. And so you're finding that the receptors on the cells could be calcified and gummed up and perhaps either shrunk or not working correctly. And so the insulin's floating around in the blood and then it can't penetrate the cell where it needs to go. Is that what's going that, that's, on? That's exactly it. Think of your body as plumbing. Think of it as, as a house. You know, the, the, the pipes get, get gummed up with grease and, and, and the hair and stuff. And all of a sudden they don't work properly. They back up. You know, the same thing with your body, it, uh, the, the cardiovascular system, the digestive system. Everything has to have a flow. Everything has to be clear so, so that everything can, can do its job. Interesting. And so that makes a lot of sense. So if you have a, you know, high levels of calcium, and calcium um, <laughs> is really just the, the end result of what I've heard is biological transmutation of magnesium and silica, where those two things interact with each other and then form calcium. And, uh, you know, it seems like, they open up a, a person and they see there's calcium in the bone, so they think you need to eat calcium. But there's just so much more going on with the body, isn't there? It's amazing. You know, you learn new things every day. And, you know, a lot of the stuff I am talking about, a lot of people have known about, and, and I'm bringing it forward. I mean, for me, it's, it's newer information because I'm always looking for the answer. And I've only been, come on, I've only been doing this eight years. Not even eight years. Wow. So I'm, st- I'm still learning a lot, but I'm learning very quickly. Um, you know, you, you talk about the calcium problem, and the medical community has just started realizing, hey, you know what? Calcium is a problem. Mm. It's not so much triglycerides and fat within the, uh, the cardiovascular system, but more calcium. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it's funny because just all the ways it affects the body in such, a, in such unique and strange ways. And um, I've heard that... Um, some people say that calcium is the root cause of most disease where uh, you have the shrinking of internal organs and your liver doesn't work correctly and then that can't produce the right uh, hormones, enzymes and things like that. that that's, that's exactly it. And, and I, I, the more people I see, the more calcium problems I do find. My first wife, she passed away of a calcium disease. Mm-hmm. Her, her body calcified and she basically started turning into stone. 
So, so calcium wasn't absorbing. It was building up everywhere. Uh, we, we don't know exactly what it was. Uh, I never went there. I don't need to. Mm. Uh, but that's basically what it was. She started developing calcium nodules on her fingers. She developed something called Raynaud's disease where, where blood stops flowing to the hands. Mm. And, and all that is the blockage. What's mm. blocking? And, and that's what it was. It's all calcium. Hmm. It's funny. I heard someone once say, you know, how do you know if you have too much calcium or if you're not absorbing the calcium that you are eating? Uh, and he said that if you turn your head and you and your neck cracks or if you can crack your fingers, oh gosh, you have too much calcium. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if that's cal- true, but calcium is, yeah, calcium is sticking to the, to the joints and everything. <laughs> oh and and as, as you crack them, it's, it's separating them. So uh, everybody's got a calcium problem. Take diatomaceous earth and you'll be just fine. Yeah. Hmm. There's a question in the chat too. It says, how can we go ahead keeping our bones healthy without calcium? Is there anything to take for bones? Uh... You know, just a balanced mineral supplement. Every, a lot of people talk about vitamins. Your body can make vitamins. Your body can absorb vitamin D from the sun, all these different things. Minerals. Minerals, balance is key. Hmm. There's all these different minerals. There's 98 different trace minerals that our body needs. Everything from lead, aluminum, zinc, magnesium, the whole gamut. The mm-hmm. periodical table of elements is there. Um, balance out your minerals. Okay, uh, and and everything is going to absorb itself. The copper zinc imbalance within your body, if that gets out of balance, you're looking at a huge amount of health problem possibilities. So yeah. the copper zinc is very important. The sodium potassium is very important. It's a it's a very fine line with with mineral balance in our bodies. And if everybody's minerals are balanced perfectly, health problems would be so minimal. Our pH would, would be more balanced so, so that now pathogens can't, can't uh, attach themselves like parasites and bacteria. Uh, so you, you take away the environment by having a balanced uh, uh, acidic system, a balanced pH system. So the, the minerals are key. The yeah. guest we had on yesterday, Anne Louise Gettleman, I believe, she spoke a lot about copper zinc uh, ratios within health. And Justin and I honestly have never really thought about the copper issue being a big deal before that episode. It's a pretty big thing. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pe- people with multiple chemical sensitivities, high in copper. Hmm. People, people with mental problems could be very high in co- copper. Dr. Lawrence Wilson, uh, look up his website and look up copper toxicity. You'll blow your mind. Wow. wow. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard people talk about the minerals because so many people think, oh, vitamins. I need more vitamins. I need, you know, take this vitamin supplement. But really, uh, all life comes down to minerals from what I understand, right? Yes, yes. Mm. It's much more important. I've heard people growing uh, orange trees up in uh, Canada, you know, because the, these orange trees are being watered with ocean minerals that contain all 92 elements. And uh, if you have minerals, you can't get sick. And kind of the same stuff you were just saying, but it's 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 interesting how off we are because we think vitamins first, you know. Yeah, it, it's it's a very big misconception. Um, look up Dr. Joel Wallach. He's, he's, he does a lot of research on minerals. Just do the research yourself and look at mineral components. Um, look, look at uh, different websites that give you symptoms. Uh, there'll be a list of symptoms of a deficiency of certain minerals. And you'll be like, wow, that's me. That's me. Yeah. And then you can call somebody like myself and I can measure the, the amount of, of that mineral within your body and tell you if you're deficient. Hmm. Can you do a uh, blood testing a uh, long distance? Because I know you do live blood cell analysis. Is that possible for you to do? You mean the dry I, blood? I can test yeah. absolutely anything. Any question whatsoever about your body, your health, your spirituality, your energy, I can test for it and give you an answer. That's awesome. Th- there, there is no blockages whatsoever. Have you found any particular diseases uh, or conditions that people have more challenging to treat than others? Uh, the, the most challenging ones are, are very deep spiritual, uh, energetic things like, like possibly past lives. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people who have the voice in their head mm-hmm. that, that, that tells them to do things. That, that is a very tough one. It, it's, it's a very ancient, ancient uh, uh, spirit called watchers. Um, and, and they're involved at a very deep level and they're very hard to get out. But, but ultimately, you know, uh, I, I have seen basically every type of, of illness and have had success with it. The only time we don't have success is when somebody comes for some treatments and they decide to stop. Hmm. Uh, okay. So yeah. Come, yeah. People don't give it enough time to kind of really give it the, that, that's right. Give it a go. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. There is some sort of, I think there's some sort of um, component that the person who's receiving the treatment needs to have. I mean, 
for me, I, I think that something like this, it's so different in our culture. It's so looked at as so strange and so weird because we live in such a physical, mm -hmm. uh, you know, male dominated right brain culture that, uh, something like this is so different. But I, I do think it takes a, a willing, a willingness on the part of the receiver to believe. Um, maybe it, it, not. Somewhat. But, somewhat. Yeah. One of the big things I have also discovered is, is working with an area spiritually called the well of souls. Uh, this is located within the hypothalamus in our brain, and this is a connection to heaven, okay? Now, when this connection is broken, and that the, the soul is disconnected from the well of souls, the well of souls is disconnected from heaven, what this can create is, is uh, depression, it can create some addictions, it can create a, a lot of different personality uh, 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 trait changes. Now, what we're, the way I discovered this is, is that a young boy, 11-year-old boy in Calgary, uh, suffered a severe concussion in a hockey game, and he was in the hospital for a week, all spaced out and not really there. I worked on him, reconnected this area. Next day, he was 100%. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He took a smack in the head. It, it disconnected all of this. I put it all back together, intent, made the intent, and boom, next day he was fine. Isn't that wild? <laughs> wow. Yeah, people don't know what to do with that probably. <laughs> yeah, what, did the, what did the people around say about that? Well, uh, his, his parents were very much into my work. They're, they're very spiritually minded. The doctor's like, hey, we did something good, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised they let you, let you in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I did this. I did this uh, uh, I'm in Winnipeg. He's in Calgary. I did it on the phone. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow, that's right. Yeah. Amazing. <sighs> wow. And so people can call you up via the phone, uh, via Skype. Kate's talked with you multiple times. Um, people can do that long distances, obviously. Correct. I, I've got clients in Australia, Kuwait. I've got clients, lots in Europe, lots in the States because your healthcare system sucks, sorry to say. Oh, I know. It does. In, in, instead of spending 50 grand on a procedure in a hospital, spend 55 bucks and let's deal with the problem. That's interesting. So what is the average amount of time, do you think, um, if you were to kind of average out all of your clients that you've ever seen, what's the average amount do you think someone would have to uh, see you, do you think? Generally, you know, three, four, five appointments will, will really uh, make a huge difference depending on how chronic the problem is. If you had severe cerebral palsy or MS, of course, it's going to take longer for the body to respond. Mm -hmm. But generally, you know, most problems, aches and pains and, and, and different types of uh, bowel issues, three, four sessions and, and it's pretty much done. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I've had some, I've had some really, people in the chat room were asking me my experiences with you and I've, I've had some pretty wild stuff happen over here with my uh, digestive issues and yeah. I mean, stuff has been definitely treated and, and gone and haven't come back. So it's, it's something definitely going Something's on. Something's happening. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep, yeah. It's been amazing. Wow. So what new things are you working on? Are you, I'm sure you're learning all the time, right? I'm learning all the time. Um, yeah, every day is, is a learning experience for me spiritually and, and, and physically, uh, you know, the whole diabetes thing. Uh, I, I did find one interesting thing with, with a client I'm working with. Uh, she has diabetes and, and she eats healthy, but her blood sugars are, are still uh, up. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's eating healthy. All of a sudden, one day she had a donut. Her blood sugars went down. Mm. After a so, so yeah, so to me it's like okay, okay. There's something bigger that, than just high blood sugars. So I did some more research, and I did find that there is a ley line under her house that is emitting some negative energies. Now everybody within the house, there's three people, they've all got high blood sugars. Really? So so we neutralize the the ley line, and we're going to see, give it a week, and see if what kind of difference that makes. That's so fascinating because it's so funny. I w had this on my mind to ask you, and I thought, ah, oh, I'll just let it go because I, I don't think you know people might be able to, to relate to this question. But my question a few minutes ago was about ley lines and if people have those underneath their house and and how that works. Uh, but it can, I guess, affect people. It, it, it can. Uh, now, what is a ley line? A ley line is is a channel of energy, and they they crisscross all over the earth. Okay, back in, in you know a billion years ago, these ley lines were were, were uh, operational, and they were powered by things like oh the Great Pyramids, the Stonehenge, all these different things were, were were energy centers for these ley lines, and you could tap into this energy. It's like it's like free energy, like almost like the the, the Tesla theory. Mm 
So if there's a ley line under your house, let's call it geopathic stress. There's negative energies coming out of the ground. If there's a crisscross of ley lines under your house, that's even worse, okay? Or it can be worse. So, so by finding that, and, and a lot of people will, will do dowsing with dowsing rods to, to, to find them. They'll use it to find water and different things. That can be a problem. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, and then if you couple it with, let's say, you, you live two blocks away from a cell phone tower or a power grid or something, different things that, are, that, that combine and come into play, that can all cause a big problem. Yeah, yeah so I was gonna, yeah, so interesting. So you think the, uh, the ley lines could interact somehow with this energy from the power plants or, or something like that going back into the ground and screwing yes, things so there, up? There, there definitely could be a, a, a combination of the two things coming about. You're like the perfect storm. You've got a, a cold front and, 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 and this weather system coming in to create something bigger. Yeah. It, it can certainly happen on an energetic level that, that it affects your health that way. It's, a, it's fascinating because we talked a while ago with Dr. Emil de Tofel from uh, a company called Less CMF and um, he talked about that, about how uh, the, the, the dirty electricity inside people's walls can affect their blood sugars. And, and so there is this energetic component, you know, that's just energy, same, same way as, as you're working with. It's just different form of energy, but uh, this stuff is affecting people's blood sugars. Well, the, the interesting you say about the, the dirty electricity, the dirty energy. Uh, what I tell a lot of people to do if they're sensitive, uh, a high sensitive level to, to certain things, take tiny little magnets and take off the plastic wall plate. Mm-hmm. Pop a magnet within the the, um, the receptacle. Mm-hmm. And what will happen is it'll stop that electricity from coming out of the wall. And you will actually feel, if you put your hand over it, you'll feel a pulsing. You'll feel something different within the, that that receptacle, and it'll stop the electricity from coming out, and it'll make a difference within your room. So, how do you place the magnet within the within the the plate? The there? wall plate. The wall plate. Yeah. You, you, you just take the plastic cover off, uh-huh. and, and then and then uh, the the box is exposed, and just pop a tiny little magnet in there. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Get, get a good little rare earth magnet. Pop them into all your receptacles, and you will notice a huge difference in the room. It it will be different. What do you think about, I'm, I'm interested in magnets, what do you think about people have magnetic uh, mattresses and bed pads and things like that? Do you work with those or what do you think about those? Um, I, I do believe in them. I, I know that magnets work. I, I injured my knee once myself and I put magnets on it and the magnets got really hot. All of a sudden I can move my knee. <sighs> so magnets do have a purpose, of course. Um, I, I don't use or promote the, the magnetic mattresses or anything because I, I do something different. I, I actually get rid of the problem instead of needing a, a magnetic mattress to use with it. Um, but yeah, of course, magnets do have a very big uh, purpose within healing. Okay, uh, I got my pyramid loaded with eighty thousand Gauss worth of magnets. There, there's huge magnets in there, so mm-hmm. there is uh, a, a, almost a scalar component to, to the whole thing with magnets. You know, you got to th- look at a magnet and put them two of them together and they repel each other like how the heck is it doing that yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) you know what's going on here what are these forces and and uh if you can wrap your head around that as to what's really happening you'll understand a bit more how they can help your body now if you consider uh iron within your body is ferrous it's magnetic if you put a magnet over an area of pain if it's being caused by iron it's going to pull the iron out it's going to put it into the bloodstream and it's going to eliminate out your body and remove the pain so if, if you think of it that way you can kind of understand how magnets are going to help you a little bit. It's a lot of fun. I mean, magnets, crystals, pyramids, there's all <laughs> kinds of fun little things that are really cheap that people can get and put around their house to really improve their oh, health. Oh, exactly. The, the pyramids I do sell, they are inexpensive. They do work. There is there is credibility to them. You know, magnets have, have such a, a, a big uh, uh, part w- within our, our whole planet we have a magnetosphere around it to, to protect it mm. you know there's all these different things that, that go on with magnets uh we wouldn't be able to use a compass if we didn't have a magnet yeah right that's fascinating but kate and i w- recently saw a, a pyramid a big pyramid that was probably about four feet tall wasn't mm-hmm. it, kate? yeah we sat under it <laughs> we did uh, we wanted to what did they have it up for for meditation for people to uh, go th- under and yeah i think for meditation hang but, out but yeah it was it was pretty wild yeah pretty interesting stuff so people can contact you through your website i see you have let's see your contact button and they can send you an email or give you a call right through there 
Exactly. I'm very easy to get a hold of. If you if you email me today, I'll get back to you tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, I, I I love my clients. I want people to know that that they're accepted here and that and they're appreciated. So I do get back to people right away. You can call my my uh, office line. You're going to leave a voicemail, and I'm going to get back to you. Okay. Now I'm setting up on my website. I've got a new scheduling system where you can just schedule online. You can just click on it, pick an appointment. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, click, yeah, click on the appointment and you can schedule your own appointment instead of bouncing emails back and forth and, and, and trying to set something up. So you can you can do your own appointment that way. I'm going to have that set up in the next week or so. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's that awesome. takes a lot of the work out of it for everybody because that can get exhausting. <laughs> going back and forth, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a one-man show. I, I do all my yeah. own scheduling, my own uh, uh, booking. I do everything myself. So it does become a little overwhelming sometimes, and sometimes I even forget to bill people, which <laughs> is not a good thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right there with you with the one-man show. It's I, hard. I completely understand. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so chriskaler.net, K-E-H-L-E-R.net. Uh, thanks so much for taking some, t- some time out of your day to be with Always us Always a pleasure, kids. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. All right, Chris, we'll hold on the line, and we're going to sign off the live show here re- really quick. I want to thank everyone who is listening live. We really appreciate you guys being on and being I'm sorry we didn't get to everyone's questions. It's so hard to try to get every question in the chat answered. Yeah, but yeah we try. For further info, you can contact Mr. Kaler. Contact Chris Kaler, and his website, again, is chriskaler.net. This is episode... 257, and we're, Kate and I are going to talk a little bit about everything that we talked about here on the podcast, so make sure to check that out. And thanks so much for being on a live show, and we will catch you on the next episode. Okay. Awesome, Keep in touch. Chris. Keep in touch. Okay, you too. thanks, Chris. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Bye-bye. So another wild one with Mr. Chris Kaler. <laughs> right? He was good, wasn't he? Man. Yeah. He, he delves into so many different interesting realms doesn't he i know it's very really, very interesting i think the yeah work he does um i think i don't know you know he says that you don't have to the person receiving doesn't have to believe but i don't know i, I just think there's i think the person has to believe i don't know i mean I, I have no way of knowing that but i've talked to him a little bit about that before off the air and i mean it definitely helps but i've heard him say stuff like people that are skeptics and don't believe that go in and see him or or even on the phone They'll feel something, but they won't um, attribute it to the session they had. Mm-hmm. They'll always want to try to think of some other reason why, you know, instead of just having a healing over their, you know, arthritis starting to go away or something, they'll be like, oh, I think it was because I changed my diet. It wasn't that energy healing. He said that people are very skeptical that way and they just don't want to give it its due credit, you know? Yeah, they don't want to just attribute so, it to that. Yeah. Because otherwise it'd be crazy, right? Yeah, well, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. I'm sitting here with a sun ring in my lap with my... With my uh, intention in there. Intention in there. <laughs> I'll try I anything. It. I know, right? Yeah. There's a couple of things during the show that I wanted to uh, talk about too. Um, I wanted to mention a few different things. Uh, if you go to our store, because we he talked about calcium and bones. Uh, there's a, a really interesting product about osteoporosis because we talked about calcium and bones. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you go to extremehealthradio.com/longevity, there's a really great program by David Wolf about the dangers of calcium and how to get rid of calcium from your body as well. Uh, lo- lots of different uh, protocols and things. And then there's also uh, one, if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash bones, uh, you'll learn about osteoporosis and how to reverse osteopenia, osteoporosis, uh, and things like that through diet, lifestyle, and stuff naturally. Um, and then also, I also want to let people know about, um, there's a really interesting thing. He, he talked about this thing called, um, or, or actually, he, he talked about putting magnets in your plates where you plug things in uh, to your wall. And there's a really interesting website that I want to turn you guys on to. It's called Stetzer Electric. And if you go, I think it's just StetzerElectric.com. If you don't spell it correctly, you might be able to just pop it into Google, type it in there, and they have some really interesting things that you can actually plug into your wall uh, to help mitigate the energy uh, and the radiation and the fields that are coming out of all the plugs in your house. Because normally those things aren't, um, I guess, sectioned off or whatever, how, however electricians do that. And there's um, electricity that comes out of the wall, uh, out of the sockets there. And so there's little things you can put in and plug them in from Stetzer Electric. And then also, uh, in terms of uh, EMF radiation, um, 
there is a website called Less EMF, and uh, they have lots of different products uh, for mitigating the electromagnetic fields coming from your phone, from your iPad, from your laptops. And from different electronic devices you have, so uh, we have a lot of their products. And if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash less EMF L E S S E M F, you should be able to check those out. We did a whole show with uh, Doctor Emil De Tofel about that, um, and so I think all those products are in our store too, except for Stetzer Electric. Uh, that's just a regular website uh, that we're not connected up with them, but. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, too, is uh, the Roaring Lion Publishing. That's Peter Ragnar's website, and he sells those, what are they called? They're called the Magnetic Mattress Pads. And um, Chris says he kind of he doesn't work with those too much. Um, but if that's something you're interested in, we're not connected up with uh, Roaring Lion at all. Um, but I just wanted to make those aware to you guys. Uh, if you're interested in checking those out, it's uh, a, a, a big bed pad you can put right on, to, on top of your bed that's filled with, I'm not sure what the gauze magnets are, but um, you can put those over the top of your bed. I never heard of such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like a, it, they call it a magnetic mattress pad. Huh. And um, I don't know. It'd be interesting to, to work with. I don't know if you need to somehow fix or not use the magnets with the pyramids or uh, at less EMF they have the, 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 the tarp that you can hang over your bed. You know? A tarp? It's not like a tarp. It's like, oh, a, like a Faraday cage? Canopy, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Faraday cage. Yeah. And um, and so, I don't know. It would be interesting to use all this stuff together. But, uh, See what kind of results you can get. Interesting stuff, right? Yeah. Mr. Chris Kaler. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, just... would, I would highly recommend checking that out. Yeah, he's interesting. I think you have to give it like how in the chat room people were wondering too about like it might not be an immediate thing. People are very used to wanting to see very quick results. It right. might be a three or four session thing before you feel a bit better. Yeah, um, I forgot to I'm ask sure. him. Does he recommend people see him once a week or once a month? Probably once a month. Huh? You know, I think it depends on your situation. For oh, a while there, it? I was working with him, I think once or twice a week. Oh, okay. Just while I was having some really bad pain. And sure enough, I mean, that the... The um, consistency of of it that he recommended really helped. I think it, it did help. Yeah. I had to be pretty proactive that way. So interesting. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. Um, you know, a lot of people say they may not feel anything. Like I did. Um, I did. Remember a test Reiki session, mm-hmm. and I felt a little bit, not much, but just because you don't feel anything doesn't mean nothing's happening there. Right. And I wanted to make that point on the show because you know I could take a vitamin D three supplement and not feel anything. Right. Right. But. Um, you know, you know that it's doing good for you and you know that you're, you know, if you drink a green juice, I don't feel, it's, it's not like I feel the enzymes, I feel you're the right. minerals. You're right. I just feel like I'm drinking healthy things. No, you're right. So just because you don't feel anything doesn't necessarily mean, yeah. I think people are, are waiting for like some crazy thing to happen, you know? I did have a few of those though, I'll tell you. Yeah, you did, didn't I you? had stuff where I felt major energy rush, rush, rush at me and even move my body. Push wow. me back quite a bit. I mean, it was pretty, pretty intense, but. Yeah, you probably are more able to be sensitive to those types of things. Than I am. You. And I think as you get healthier too, your mind opens, your body clears, you get more minerals and you're able to feel these things. You know? I'm very energetically sensitive. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. All right. So another show in the record books. How about another that? Another day, another dollar fifty. Another day, another dollar Thank 50. you, Uncle Tim. <laughs> <laughs> From Manly Beach, Australia. Ah. Uh, Love him. We miss we miss it there, don't we? We do. Yes. Feels like home away from home, huh? It's our second home. Yes. So this was episode two fifty seven, and he's been on four other times uh, on this show. So if you're interested in all his shows, we'll put links to all those on this show page, episode two fifty seven. We'll also put a link to the thread in the form that we will create specifically for this show. And you guys can continue the discussion if you want to join our forum. It's free. It's Facebook, fr- uh, Facebook free. Facebook free. Yeah, it's a uh, Facebook free zone. Zuckerberg is not allowed. <laughs> he signs up. I'll, I'll make sure not to uh, allow him into our forum. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a cool place away from Facebook, and it's just our own private little community of listeners and really people who are into cutting edge health and nutrition and uh, peak potential and all this good stuff that we're into here. At, Stream Health Radio, so you can connect with all the other listeners and get your questions answered, ask questions. So it's free to sign up to our forum, and we'll put a link to that in this show page 257. 
And tomorrow we got our free for all Friday show. Next week we got uh, Adam Bergstrom, That's Sean, right. Sean Stevenson talking oh, yeah, about Sean Stevenson. sleep. That's right. And sleep issues. And we've got um, that Nor- Dr. Norm B- Billiard, I think, about uh, what's he going to be talking about? Oh, digestive health. We all need that. We all need that. Lord so knows. Stay tuned for that. Tomorrow we got our free for all Friday show, 9 a.m. Pacific. You can call in or you could join the chat room and listen live. Lots of good stuff going on. So thanks, everybody, for listening. Is that it? That's a lot of fun. I know. It's awesome. We love you guys, and thank you for everything, keeping us uh, able to do this and give you show after show. So hopefully we're helping you guys out, and we're learning something in the, in the process. In the process, that's for darn sure. <laughs> darn sure. Right, right, totally. All right, thanks, guys, for listening, and we will catch you on the next episode. Listening to this episode, it's time to go for now. But our mission does not end with this show. Justin and Kate will be back with another interview packed full of ideas, discoveries, and unique ways to regain your health. Head on over to extremehealthradio.com forward slash subscribe and instantly download our free gift too that contains cutting edge strategies to start making healthy lifestyle changes today. Material on this blog is intended to suggest that you should not seek professional medical care. Always work with qualified medical professionals, even if you educate yourself in the field of live food, nutrition, and alternative medicine. I'm not a doctor, nor am I offering readers medical advice of any kind. None of the information offered here should be interpreted as a diagnosis of any disease, nor an attempt to treat or prevent any disease or condition. While information in this blog is discussed in the context of numerous conditions, it can be dangerous.